doing an awakening today is because I want to inspire you guys. I want you to tell me what it is you love. What is it that you love? What, you know, what is it that gets you up in the morning and you think, I'm going to get up and I'm going to do this, regardless of money, regardless of how many likes I get, how many views I get. I don't care. I don't care. I want to do this because I love it. What does it mean to love something so much? I woke up this morning, didn't want to get up. Again, same every day. Why bother? Look at the world. It's cold. There's no sun. And then I thought about, I'm going to go for a lottery grant. But I'm going to go for a lottery grant because I want you to be part of it, of what I am doing here. I've got life, all right? In some way, I am trying to create a project to get a lot of money to pay certain people to come on board and do what they love, incorporating everything that I love. <laughs> but it got me out of bed and it made me think, I'm doing this app called Envision and oh, it's amazing. You've got to get it, it's free and it helps you focus your goal. Get an app called Envision. And, and it just got me, I got out of bed and I rang someone. I said, I'm really confused because I want to take everything, moving on TV, moving on theater. I want to take everything that I love and I want to put it into one goal. Just, just to do everything that I love. You know, all in one go with the people that I love and to make sure these people are looked after. I know particular people like me that I've got nothing and are not being paid anything. And so that they're my priorities and their talents are huge. I've got about three people, three or four people, including myself. And to go to the lottery and get this money for all of us. You know, to incorporate their talents and what they love, but to find a way of how can we work together to go out and create this massive change for a lot of people, artists, talent, holistic, shaman, shamanistic, holistic talent, um, or just, you know, talent. We do it together. And moving on TV becomes the TV station for us all because that's the whole point for the awakening, for ascension. What do you do? And I was trying to explain to someone what love is. Love is unconditional, all right? I was trying to explain this to someone who was having, struggling a lot with issues with their family. And I said to them, you've got to love unconditionally, but before you do that, find what you love, because the minute you do what you love, it's so easy to give. You know, so if you're struggling in life with people or you're jealous or you're not comfortable with me or whatever, because I do everything I love. I don't think about money. I don't think about um, likes. And guess what? I got universal credit to keep me going because I'm and the lottery are coming towards me. They've got millions. So decide what you love and come to me and let's make it happen together. We can do it together. But anyway, I was telling this parent who, who couldn't cope very well with, with their child. Their child's growing up. This parent, person's a, a young woman now, and she they have this barrier. And I said, well, to me, my gut is saying, the reason you've got the barrier is you do not understand what real love is, what unconditional love is, because that child is mirroring to you that they just want to do something from here without worrying about anything else, like me. That's why I couldn't get on with my own parents because all I wanted to do was sing. <laughs> I've got life. I wanted to sing and act. And it, got, it took a lot to get to the level where my father would even listen to me and talk to me. It was, you've got to have a job there and you've got to do this. And it broke my heart because I'm not like anybody else. I'm a star seed or whatever else I am. And all of us, it, you cannot go out there and help humanity and you cannot have a happy life 
not unless you do what you love. And so I told this parent, I know this parent loves dancing because I know everything. I know. I know what this parent, I, I know what's going on. I can help because I'm neutral and I can see things. And I said to this person, put on some music and dance, just dance because you are a brilliant dancer. And then come back to me and we will try to help your child. Because you can't help your child until you find your passion. Because the only way you can connect to another person that is struggling is through you finding what you love. You, you can't help a struggling person until you stop struggling yourself. And the healers who are going out there to heal, if they're not complete inside, then they cannot heal. I'm sorry, but I don't feel they can. Find yourself, find what you love. Connect inside, get happy, and then you can go out and heal others. I can't heal others when I'm in that space. Of course I can. This is why I was put on two to three bottles of water a day before I can do my job for humanity. They wouldn't even look at me. Spirit wouldn't do anything with me. And they won't let me work a lot. So this is what I've got to do. And then I'm going on to do an NLP course for free. And the other thing I'm going to say to you is when you find your passion, if you're struggling with a friend or anyone that you can't get on with and you can't help them, then put, put them towards me. I'll help them or detach and see them. Don't see them as your friend. Don't see them as your child. You know, this has given me a lot to talk about on the awakening, the situation that I found out about. You have to stand away from the situation, like from above, neutral, like God. God looks down on every one of you and loves you regardless, okay? It's unconditional. And, you know, I'm a Jew, but I believe in the teachings of Christ. And of course I do. They're beautiful. It's all about love. And all that Jesus said was love one another as you love yourself. Don't attach to people because why am I on my own now? Because I want to get so strong on my own that whatever happens to another human that I love with every bone in my body, I will be okay. And God knows the universe has given me enough grief to deal with to help me do that. So the awakening today is about your passion. Your passion. And then you need to know exactly what your dream is. Like I'll give you an example when I wanted to do PF. And that was my dream to go to Edinburgh. Huge. People said to me, you can't go to Edinburgh. You don't know anyone. You're no one. You're no one. Yeah. You've got to be famous. I said, I'm going to Edinburgh. I'm taking PF to Edinburgh. And I did a crowdfunder. I got the money. <clears throat> People funded me. Someone else gave me a bit of money. I got Jacob and me and Martin and Helen together. And we went to Edinburgh and we sold out every single show. And the reason we got to Edinburgh is because I set the goals, the smaller steps. And I could teach anybody to achieve their dream. So come to me. And I don't charge much or I barter. And if you want to sing my music, then please sing my music. I'm open to everything, but we work with respect and we work gently, gently, slowly, slowly. And if someone says to me, you don't have a lot of likes, well, then that's ego. I don't care what I loved yesterday is I got one like and it made my day <laughs> because then I sit and I watch this tonight. And if I'm down in the dumps, I laugh and I smile at Lauren. Look at her. I've got life. You see, there's a difference. No one, no one could guess my age today. No one. You can try. You can try. But it doesn't matter. And I've got to go now because I'm doing a free NLP course. Free. Part therapy. Everything to help me get to the level to help you. So there you go. I love you. Get up. Live your passion and the body will disappear. You cannot get sick. <clears throat> and if you get sick, it, 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 the mind takes over because you're doing what you love. And I love you and I love Lauren. 
I love Lauren, as I said, and that's, I'm not saying this is an egotistical way. I'm saying, as I said, if I don't get any views for this, I'll probably get 10 maybe. It doesn't matter because I'll put this on at 12 p.m. tonight at 1 a.m. and I will watch it and I will see me happy. I will see me happy and I'll go to bed happier and I will learn something. And then bit by bit, you will see me happy. And you will think, how the hell does Lauren do it? She's on her own. She's got no one. <laughs> She's had all this grief and all this pain and all this suffering and wheelchairs and death and abandonment and yada, 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 yada. And look at her. How does she do it? Who is she? Who is she? I'm starting to find out who I am. And one day I will tell you. I'm being told <laughs> I'm one of those, yes? And you know what I mean? Check out Revelation 7, 9. I'm one of them. And we're all one of them. And we're all here to do what needs to be done. So that's it. But it's given me a reason to get up in the morning. Because if I'm feeling like shit and I'm feeling weak, I get up and I will focus that day. Today, I'm doing very little. I've done this. This is my work. And for me, or maybe the one, the two people that watch this tonight, because they feel similar to me. Okay, I'm trying to take everything that I am. Someone really wise said to me, a friend said to me, why don't you take moving on theater, moving on TV, combine it all together in some way with encounters, the musical you're writing and everything you love. And that's what I'm doing. And I'm going to go out and I'm going to get the money. And please bless me with that. And even if we don't get the money, it's growing. We're growing slowly and sponsors will come on. And as you know, nothing stops this spirit. I love you guys. And instead of being jealous of me or confused by me, ask me to teach you. How do I do it? It's called unconditional love for yourself and what you love more than anything. If you, like me, when you were 12 years old, used to run down the street singing, the hills are alive with the sound of music, and the neighborhood would hear you before they saw you, that's why you're here. That's why you're here. But it's not enough to do that now. We join and we do it together. And I go on, I've got life now when I feel like it. It's my TV station and yours. And I will sing to my heart's content. And it's up to me. And that's what you need. And thank God, I'm so grateful to YouTube for letting Moving On TV stream live because it's given me an answer and how I'm going to help me and a lot of people. I never forget those I love. And you know who you are. We may not be together, but you know who you are. I never forget you and I will always go out there to find a way to support those I love. Doesn't matter what they do to me. Doesn't matter how much they hurt me. It can't change what I really am, which is pure love. It can't. And, and as I say, I, guys, you have hurt me. Of course you've hurt me. You've hurt me on your journey. And God, this is making me so strong and full of passion. And I will never abandon you. I can't abandon you. It's part of my job to show you your journey and love you. <laughs> I feel good. I feel good. I'm going to go now. And I'm not hyper. There's a difference. I'm not depressed and I'm not hyper. I'm balanced. I've got to drink my water and I've got to get on my course. Take care. I love you lots. And keep in touch, guys. Because if you work with Lauren, with, if you work with this spirit, you are honored, okay? And if you don't work with me, and if you're not in my life, well, I deserve better. <laughs> you're just not on that vibration. And when you are, I welcome you back. So without being cruel or egotistical, you need to be able to be a certain kind of person to get the love that I have to give. You, yeah, okay. Unconditionally, you will get the love regardless. I'm talking about personalities, meeting up, being, being together. You have to be able 
to have self-respect is the most important thing. You say what you want, what's more important to you. You put your foot down, you create a healthy boundary with people and you stick to your commitments and you show up. And then we'll talk. I will not work. Everyone who works with me on encounters are the best salt of the earth. Vlad, Martin, um, Manuel, Luke, Emily and Sam. The guys I've got, they are salt of the earth. They never let each other down. They are there when we need each other. They supported me through the loneliness and they are part of my tribe. Encounters, the people that are working together. I'm not saying that we have the same beliefs, well, most of us have actually, about everything. And today is a big day, guy, and we wish, the, uh, why did he come wearing red? We wish President Trump all the love and, uh, you know, go forward and win because we're with you here in the UK. I wish you could vote. <laughs> but what I'm saying is the people that work on encounters with me and, and Jacob worked with me and we had agreements. It, it all was, all, that's why we saw that Edinburgh because we had commitments, we had agreements, we had loyalty. Helen did the food and the driving, um, Martin, uh, did the stage management. Uh, Johnny, I forgot Johnny was the keyboard player. Jacob did the tech. We And I went on the stage and I did my job to enlighten and inspire and tell people about mental health recovery, no medication. And I sang, no, rien, de rien. And I sold out every single night. We all had our job and it fitted beautifully and we all lived together in the same house and we had a wonderful time like a family and anyone who wants to work with me, there are contracts. You don't get away with anything. You are loyal and committed and responsible. And the people I'm working with at the moment, they are salt of the earth and I'm so grateful. And we are building something together. So if you come on Moving On TV and start checking out the likes and say to me, oh, you've only got two likes, then go away. I don't want you. I don't want you, I have absolutely no interest in you. If you come on Moving On TV or you're doing what we're doing and you say, wow, you've got 10 likes. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of me. Then we work together because that's a consciousness. It's got nothing to do with likes. It, yeah, you're growing. You're growing, but, you know, whatever. Why do you think that you have a right to have more likes just because you're you? It's just... The way you've been conditioned, it's the quality and not the quantity of the people that come onto your channel. And they love me and I love them. And they're supporting me and slowly, slowly we're growing. And as I say, anybody who wants to come on Moving On TV, watch this. And I will do a separate program about this because I'm not interested in egos. I'm interested in your talents, which sometimes comes from a bit from ego. I'm interested in loyalty, commitment, and unconditional love, and your talent and your creativity and your positive message to help release the kids and to help create a beautiful world with equality and bartering. When you never wake up in the morning and think, oh my God, how am I going to pay a bill? Never. Not in my world. So if you're like that, then come on Moving On TV and I will do a separate program because this is going on. I've got to go and do my course. I love you. I hope the message is clear. And if I get two likes for this, I'm over the moon now. I don't care anymore. It's not about fame and fortune and making money. It's about being happy and making other people happy, but me being happy. And every time I watch Lauren go on there, I have a big smile on my face and I'm laughing because I don't need a theater anymore. It's free. <laughs> I love you guys. Bye.